Take it off, take it in, take off all the thoughts of what we've been. Take a look, hesitate, take a picture you could never recreate. Got a song. Hi guys, let's get started. I went ahead and used the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my lid. Then using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and put that all over my entire face. Taking my 224 and a matte red, this is by Makeup Forever. Not sure of the number because it, the sticker in the back came off, sorry. But any matte red will do. Go ahead and place that into your crease and a tiny bit into the outer V. I then grab this Dome Blending Brush by e.l.f. and this Makeup Forever Orange Shadow in number 18 and I kind of just dabbed it around the red shadow just to help blend a little bit into my highlight. With the Naked One palette, I went ahead and grabbed Virgin with my Sigma E40 blending brush and I placed that on my brow bone as a highlight. I then took this red lip liner by Rimmel and I placed that all over my lid as a base and then I went ahead and grabbed my 224 just to help blend out the edges. I then took this large shader brush and that same orange and then I placed it all over my entire lid where I placed the red lip liner. I then went in with Max Carbon, a matte black, and an angled brush by e.l.f. This is for like a dollar. I placed that into the crease, kind of one third in the way. Then you're going to see that I grabbed a pencil brush with no product on it, and I kind of used that to help blend in the black more into the crease and give that gradient effect. Take your time blending a black, especially if it's matte. Um, you may think that it's not blending, but trust me it is. Just take your time. Take it in. All the thoughts of what we've been Take off all the thoughts of what we've been Take it off, take it in Take off all the thoughts of what we've been Take a look, hesitate Take a picture you could never recreate Got a song, make a note For the love that sits inside your throat Change the lock, change the scene Change it all, but can't change what we've been Then with my 224 blending brush, go ahead and just blend it out. I didn't put any additional product on it, just whatever's left on the brush. Then with my duo glue, it's white but it turns clear, I placed a tiny bit onto my tray. Then use this glitter by Michaels, it's fine glitter. Um, it's not necessarily a cosmetic glitter, so if you're going to use something like that, just please be careful not to get into your eye. Take any brush that you don't care about to put glue on and glitter. Um, I like to use a little one so I'm just a little more precise. 
I went ahead and took the glue and placed it pretty much all over my entire lid. You want to work kind of quick with this so that you don't just have dried glue on your lid and the glitter can actually adhere to your glue. I then grabbed Neutrogena's makeup wipe and kind of just cleaned up any excess glitter or shadow that may have fallen onto my face. Taking my Too Faced bronzer, I'm going to contour with an angled brush. As you see here, I already have my foundation and concealer on. And I did clean up the edge of my shadow with a concealer, making it kind of nice and sharp and crisp. Then grabbing this e.l.f. blush, just a hot pink blush, take a tiny bit because it's really pigmented, even tap off the excess, and place that onto the apples of your cheeks and blend it into your contour. I forgot the name of this blush, but I will list it down below in the description box, so go ahead and check that out. Then I went ahead and grabbed my foundation brush just to help blend everything together so it's nice and smooth. Taking my NYC uh, liner, it's a pen form, kind of hard to take off. <laughs> Go ahead and line your lid and make sure to wing it out, if you like, of course. Take off all the thoughts of what we've been. Take it off. I then took my other NYC liner. This one is a liquid form. It's super black and I love it. It's like two bucks. I went over the previous line that I had made just because when working with glitter and liner, it can be a little hard to work with. So I feel as if the liquid form kind of just glides over your eye a little bit easier. And you know, it just makes your liner much more noticeable because it's that much more black. I then took Maybelline's gel liner in black and an angled brush. This brush is no brand in particular. I took some of that product and placed it onto my waterline. And also you're going to want a tight line with this so that your rim is nice and dark. Whatever is left on the brush, go ahead and place it really close to your lower lashes and blend it into your wing. So that later on you're going to see I went and grabbed a smudger brush and kind of just smudged out that lower lash line to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Also make sure to set it with a matte black. Then I took my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just gave my lashes a quick coat so that I can prep them for individual lashes and also make sure to place some on your lower lash line.
Now that my liner is nice and dried, I went ahead and took some more black shadow and placed that into the outer corner. And then I grabbed the pencil brush that I used before just to help blend it out. Again, there is no additional product on the pencil brush. Take it off, take it in, take off all the thoughts of what we've been. Take a look, hesitate, take a picture you could never recreate. Got a song, make it know, fall alone, that's it. I'm always dancing, don't mind me. Anyways, I took my duo glue and these individual lashes. These are by Revlon. I'm gonna pop these babies on and I'll be right back. Taking that same liner that you placed on your lid, you're going to use that to line your lips and make sure that you place them in the outer corner and kind of blend it into the center, making sure to leave the center blank. And as you see, my lashes are still drying. That is what the white spots are from. So for the center of my lips, I went ahead and used Estee Lauder's lipstick. I forgot the name, but just go ahead and check it out. It's just a nice nude. And I moved my lips around just so that I can help blend in the lip liner with the lipstick. And then I took a concealer brush and my foundation and cleaned the edges of my lips. When you're using red, you want to make sure that it's nice and crisp and it's not bleeding onto your skin. Please ladies, make sure to use a foundation instead of a concealer. I feel as if concealer kind of highlights it and you want it to look natural and blend in with your skin. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mwah. Bye guys.